Hey guys, what's up? It's Grayson from Gaming's Realm, and I'm here for another Redstone Weekly. So today, I have a toggleable portal. It's hard to say. So this was my first design. It kind of doesn't work. So, it kind of gets messed up. Yeah. But this is my finished product. You press this button to turn it on, and this button to turn it off. So, it does everything for you. It uh, uses dispensers with a flint and steel and a dispenser with a water bucket. So it'll dispense the water and then it'll pick it up. So how this works is with a uh, comparator. I've already showed you my comparator clock. If not, if you haven't seen it, I'll show you now. I was already in the right spot. So basically what it does is whoops you go like this and it becomes a like a one tick clock. So you could basically just take something like a piston and that's really noisy, but it is a one tick clock, I believe last time I checked that's what it was so that's how it works these pressure plates are just here to keep the water back so that you don't get water all over the place and also I use the weighted pressure plate so that every time you step out of the portal it doesn't make a noise so and yes it still works you can just walk through it um, I'm in creative mode so it'll put me through almost instantly so that's why I go through really fast but if you go back Whoops, you have to walk out that way. And then you can just turn it off if you don't want the noise. So it's pretty nice. Um, it didn't take me that long to come up with this idea. I mean, it took me a while to figure out what I'm going to do, but t to get all the redstone behind it, it didn't take that long. So, what you're going to have to do is the things that make it work is that you're going to have to have a comparator, um, and then so my comparator clock hold on phones never mind but anyways you're gonna have to have the comparator clock that goes right into a repeater on a four tick delay so that it does the puts the water out and also pulls it back in and then the then this one you just have to hook it up to a button so it's not not really that difficult for that one but anyways, that's it for this one. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, tell me what you think of the new thumbnail, because I have tried to come up with a new one. So, thank you all for watching, and goodbye.